Hello, today we are going to practice counting forward or counting on from five. So when we count, sometimes we start at one, but we don't always start at one, okay? But let's think of numbers on a number line because numbers go on forever, okay? But when we count, what's the first number we typically say? One. What comes next? Two. Three. Keep going. Four. Five. Okay, stop there. Now, we are not going to always start from one. And that's how it is throughout life. It's not just on these practice problems, but a lot of times in everyday life, we don't start counting at one. So if we know where to start off on a number line, if we picture a number line in our head, we can keep moving on and figure out what's missing. So if I'm at five, what would come next? Six, then seven, oops, then seven, and then eight. Now we can see five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Now we're counting on from 12. So if I make myself a number line, and I start at 12, I know 12, what comes after 12? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and so on. I like having a visual to help me out when I'm working on things that I'm not necessarily familiar with. So again, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's do another one. Again, we're counting from 12. We just did this. I want you to try this one on your own. I will start off with a, a little hint with our number line. Okay, so what goes next after 12? 13, then 14, then 15, then 16. Good job. Next, we're counting on from four. What comes after four? Five. Then six, then seven, then eight. Good job. Okay, this time we're starting from 11. And I'm going to make my number line as if it were part of the problem. 11. Okay, so we have 11. Then what would come next? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good job. Nice. Let's do another one. Now we're counting forward from nine. Again, I'm going to make my number line to help me out. It's just a nice little visual I like to have. You might have a number line at home or at school that you can use, but if not, you can always draw your own. If you have a piece of paper or if you can write on a computer, anything, you can find a number line and use it to help you out doing a lot of different types of problems. So then what comes after nine? Ten. Good job. What comes after ten? Eleven. Then 12, then 13, then 14. Good job. Next problem, we're starting at 10. What comes after 10? 11, then 12, 13, 14, and 15. Way to go. Next one. 
Now we're starting at five. If you're stuck, don't be afraid to think of the number line to help you. Okay. What is it? What comes after five? Six, seven, eight, nine, then 10. Good job. Next, counting forward from eight. Do you need a scratch pad? If so, use it. Draw that number line. That visual can help you out so much. So what comes after eight? Nine, then 10, then 11, 12, and 13. Great job, one more. We're starting at 10. We actually did this one before, and I know you can do it right now. I want you to try it. Draw a number line if you need to. But otherwise, go ahead. We're starting at 10. Then, tell me, 11, then 12, then 13, then 14. Then 15. Great job. That was excellent.